Hey guys, what's up? This is the end result of this video. Um, this is for a person on Minecraft named uh, Monoman. And basically he's asking how do you add the, uh, a basically add a attachment to, uh, to creature models and such that, uh, that don't, don't, that don't have it yet because he's made some custom creatures over the years and he's asking how do you add uh, basically an attachment to it that doesn't have it. All right, so this is the Cataclysm 406 uh, uh, human model, which naturally doesn't have that particular attachment. So I, so in this video, I detail how to do it by hand and how to add it in and such. And a, a lot of people may be thinking, why don't you just port the Mr. Pandaria or Draenor models? Because the, the point is he or anyone else who may be watching this in the future has a custom model that you can't just port from the newer ones because it still wouldn't have it. And if it's complete custom, then naturally you can't okay so that's the point so this is basically how to add that in All right this video is gonna be split into two parts because for some reason YouTube put me back on the 15 minute limit even though I have videos that are way like a like an hour long for some reason I got my rights to longer 15 minutes uh, uh, video with uh, pull uh, pulled back I, I don't know what happened so yeah all right that's pretty much that uh thanks for checking this out and um yeah hopefully you guys learned something new this isn't for everybody so if you're uh, pretty much a beginner at all this and don't know the general structure of m2 files this isn't for you okay so yeah all right bye bye all right hey guys this video is for monoman from uh, minecraft so uh yeah this isn't for the general my general viewers because this is oh, this is on a topic that's pretty intermediate so if, if you're pretty much just starting out and you don't really know like the format of how m2 files work and, and the file structure this isn't for you you're just gonna get lost if you already have a general idea of how the file structure is set up and not just someone who uses a tool converter someone who actually looks at the file if you have an idea of how it's set up this might teach you something new but uh, otherwise, yeah, I recommend don't watch this because you're just probably going to confuse yourself and such. Okay, so the idea is he's basically asking me how to add the, the 3D belt attachment to, um, to, uh, to basically his model. He's doing it in Lich King. I'm doing it in Cataclysm. It's basically the same thing. I'm just doing it in Cataclysm because it's easier for, for me to uh, work with. All right, because uh, because I don't have to log out to log I, I, I don't have to log out, log back in to make data refresh. I just have to morph in Cataclysm. All right, so yeah. <clears throat> so I have um, the uh, Pandaren Monk belt right now. It has no actual thing on it. The way how this works is it sets off a spell which looks for attachment 53 if it exists on the model. If it does, it will uh, basically put a 3D um, a 3D uh, object that I assigned to that particular spell wherever attachment if, uh, 53 goes to and you can use any attachment you want if you're doing custom attachments you don't have to use 53 53 is just the uh, the, uh, the uh, normal uh, one that 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 is assigned to uh, Mr. Pandaria and, and Warlords of Draenor character models and any other models that may be using a 3D belt of some sort all right so uh yeah and this is on cataclysm 406 here i'm using cataclysm 406 human model and i'm going to add the attachment in and such so yeah let's get that underway so um let me open this up in o and o i think i gotta close this up anyway uh so let me open that character up in o and o so what you want to do is uh, apply the M2 template. I'm on Cataclysm, so I have to apply a modified M2 template to my M2 so it'll work. All right, um, so I'll drop this down, and uh, thanks for thanks to Salden for supplying me with, with this template. And yeah, so if I go down to where the attachments are at, somewhere down here. All right, so a um, couple ways you could do this, depending on how your file is set up. If you don't like, I just have to basically have up to uh, 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 53, technically 54 um, att attachment lookups, all right, because zero is indexed. So um, 
So zero technically counts as one of the in, uh, of the attachments. So this value will be fifty. Uh, will basically be fi uh, fifty four. All right, because I need a total of fifty four attachments. Because attachment fi uh, fifty uh, three is the fifty fourth attachment. Okay. So luckily, I have enough space here to do it. But if you don't have enough space in your file, such as enough buffer data, or if you don't have any buffer data at all, you have to copy your chunk. All right, I'll do it that way because just in case you don't have enough data here, or someone who's watching this doesn't have enough data here for whatever model you're using, whether it's a Blizzard feature model or a custom model. In the future, if more more advanced people see my my stuff. Uh, they might have their own custom stuff and stuff like that. So I'm gonna be doing it that way just in case you don't have any data here because some of the tools that are out right now don't put buffer data in. And so they just kind of block, just write everything in chunks and one after the other without putting in, in buffers. So yeah, if you are in that, then you gotta do it this way. So I'm just gonna copy, I'm just gonna select this whole thing and just do a, do a control shift and push C to copy the hex bytes. If you just do control C, you'll copy the stuff within the right side and basically you're just gonna get a bunch of nulls, all right? So that's not a good idea. So uh, it's control shift and C, copy that. Go down to the very freaking bottom down here. I'm gonna put a buffer of zeros in here, just one line. All right, I'm, I'm gonna paste the data in. I'm gonna add some more data, some, some more zeros to it, just for the hell of it. All right, so, uh, so my start, of, of the lookups, the, the new one is here. So I'm just gonna pull my mouse there. I'm gonna do Control Shift A, and uh, just get the start uh, a decimal value. If yours is in hex, or if this number is in hex, change it to decimal and copy this thing. Sometimes you might have to change it to decimal, and then re-put your mouse here, Control Shift A again to pull this back up because the number could be different. All right, copy this, and then go to the very top of the attachments. Uh, not attachment, but of the template. All right, and then right here was the attach attachment lookup. All right, select the offset, and then up here click this, and then over here do the unsend int. Technically, I think like this doesn't this didn't work in 4.0, but this is 6.0 now, so they probably it's different. But I think you could just click this, and just double click this, and paste that in, and it should reflect like it does there. All right, and I need 54 attachments. All right, so do that. Push F5, and now I have. 54 attachments down at the bottom. All right. Now, let's see. So there we go. Da, 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 da. I'm going to change this to negative 1. Change these all to negative 1 until I figure out what to put into this 53. All right. So uh, negative 1 basically means it's, it's using uh, uh, nothing. All right. There's, there's nothing assigned to it. If you have 0 on there, it's going to be whatever that particular lookup is, it's going to be putting um, this the zero attachment on there. So whatever data is inside of here will be attached to to that, to uh, to those um, those attachment lookups that are using ID zero. All right. So make sure you change them to negative one if you don't want them used or don't want crazy stuff happening. So uh, next thing we're gonna do is move this. All right. So this would have to so the the uh, the attachments would have to be moved anyway. So the lookups don't always have to be moved if you have enough space, but the attachments always do because you have to add data to it. All right. So um, same thing as before. I'm just gonna just select the whole thing. Click over here. Control Shift C. Go down to the very bottom. All right, I added some buffer data already, so that's fine. So I'm just gonna Control Shift V and paste this here. Go to the top of that without deselecting that, so I can actually find the top of it. All right, and then put my mouse here. All right, at the start of it, Control Shift A again, copy this. Okay, and then um, in the template, go back up to attachments and offset attachments. All right, and then change this unsigned to this number. I'm gonna push F5 again. I'm not gonna add a number yet because I need to add it in before I do it. All right. And the reason why I'm not changing this yet, because if you change this to 41, you're gonna get an error because because there's there's not 41 attachments. There's only 40. All right, see, so, so that's why I'm not doing it yet. So down, go back down to where the attachments is. All right, so it goes down to the bottom here. I'm gonna just get the first one. All right, copy this. So I'm just gonna Control Shift C, copy this. Go down to the very bottom and paste that in, and then add in blank bytes just to make a new line, and so on and so forth. All right, so we're good with that. So now I go back to the top and add that 41 in. Reapply the templates, and uh, we're good. All right, push F5, and now the last one will be. The one I want to modify for the belt. Okay, so uh, yeah, so here, go here, 
and this will be my um, like these are all listed as such right yeah they all just got just numbers I guess so uh, yeah that was, that's got 47 that's got 38 I guess what's not used so what's the highest here 50 so I guess I'll make this one 50 yeah, just make, make it 53 it doesn't really matter uh, you can make it whatever you want you can make it 80 it doesn't matter all right so the things that are, are important is basically the bone that that this attachment is assigned to so uh, before I move any further this is attachment 40 so I'm gonna go down to the attachment lookup go down to the 53 one all right and then put this one as what 40 was it so uh, so it actually uses it 